Yo, what is good, y'all? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And so, as you guys can see, my face, you know, I got I got burnt. So it's if, if you're like, what is that on your face? It's 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 peeling because I got a little too much sun. Anyways, that's besides the point. What I'm here today for is to really help you guys um, try to upgrade your team and figure out what upgrades should you guys are are the best for you. So. It's gonna be episode number four of my team makeover. And so if you're new and you don't know what this is, I put out a tweet. Um, I'm gonna to try to do it every weekend. Um, with my time selects me, it put me back a week for everything. So money in the bank should be coming back Monday too. Um, but anyways, I put out a tweet every weekend um, asking for you to drop your squads, drop your MT amount. And it really, I'm trying to help you guys build the best squad possible for you guys. Um, if you guys are wanting suggestions and so um, I like doing it because I like helping you guys out helping um, Helping kind of build your squads upgrading your squads with the MT you have and just kind of telling you guys what changes I would personally make and so These are gonna be my changes that I would make if I was um, If I had your account so it's a lot of it's gonna be preference and if you don't agree with my preference that's fine if you like uh, Jason Tatum I hate Jason Tatum so anytime I see him I'm taking him out but if you like him you can go ahead and keep him in but that's what this video is without further ado let's hop right into it this first squad here was sent in by Killa Joss um, on Twitter and really I like overall I like this squad now he does have around 250k MT and there are a couple of changes I would make in the first one like I mentioned in my intro. I don't like Jason Tatum. He sells for quite a bit still. Um, because his name's Jason Tatum, I don't love his release. I think there's a ton of better players for their value than Jason Tatum. And I'm still, I'm old school. I'm still gonna either tell you, I'll, I'll give you two options. You can go here and get this Tracy McGrady leap year, or you can get Galaxy Opal MJ, not the GOAT MJ, just this MJ. But for this video, I'm going to throw in Tracy McGrady here. Uh, I'm old school. I still think he's a top shooting guard in the game. And really, I like your squad a lot more already. Um, and there is one other suggestion that I might have um, for you. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a little harsh on your MT, um, if you will have enough, especially after making that change. Um, but I still think, I, last I checked, Jason Tatum still went for a ton. Um, but the other thing I would do is I would take out Chris Bosh. I know a lot of people like Chris Bosh. Um, but I personally love Lamar Odom a lot more. And so this is really the squad I would rock out with. I think your bench is completely fine. And I think adding T-Mac and Lamar to the starting squad is really going to, I mean, change everything around. Really going to make this squad a lot better. I love Kareem. I love Magic. Brown is perfect. Yeah, your bench is perfect. Giannis at the four. Eddie Curry, perfect. I have no other suggestions. This is the squad I would rock out with. This next account was sent in by Sicone on Twitter, and this account is one I struggled with, with even thinking about it. Now, this BAM is a Evoed Pink Diamond, um, but I'm still struggling with it while I'm recording because I haven't really came to a real conclusion. Um, but I do think this lineup has potential. He does only have 10k MT, so I think where you got to start is here with Clay Thompson. I think if you replace Clay. Um, with even a pink diamond Michael Red, I think you're gonna see benefits, uh, a lot of benefits, and he's cheaper. So that's the first upgrade I would do if I was you, and that saves you quite a bit of MT. Um, and then I'm going here to Victor Oladipo. Um, now Victor Oladipo is not a bad option for his price, but I do think you can get a little better impact uh, with this guy right here. And the reason I'm doing this, the reason I'm making them more budget-wise is to clear, just clear up MT. Because you got a lot of reward cards here. Um, so the more MT you clear up for now is the more you're going to have to, it, you're, the more you're going to be able to spend in the future. Now, I love Isak Vanga and I love Michael Red. If you don't like one of those cards, you can definitely replace him. Maybe even put like a Draymond type player here if you wanted to. Um, but then I'm going to replace Bam and throw in Ping Diamond Eddie Curry. Now, I know his price has went up like crazy. Um, I don't even know if he's a buy now anymore. He might be, but I'm not really sure. Um, but this is a squad I would rock out with now. This is one squad that I have struggled with, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell you guys that straight up. I wasn't sure what to do with this squad, but this is the conclusion I came to, and this is what this squad I would rock out with. 
this next squad was sent in by my guy Nate Tape on Twitter, and he's already got Jerry Lucas and Rudy Gay, so he's a lot of these cards are reward cards, so I see that. Um, but you do have 700k MT, and so I'm just gonna personalize what I would do to this squad, and this. This is my personal opinion. If I had 700k to work with, this is probably what I would do here. Okay, so the rewards that I think can stay, I'm gonna act like I like Amari because I know a lot of people are good with Amari. I I I struggle so much with this card, but let's let's keep Amari for the video. Keep DeRozan, keep Glenn, keep Rudy, keep Jerry. But Marcus, I'm sorry, you gotta go. Um, Larry Johnson, I don't know what you're doing in the squad, but you gotta go as well. Um, and you can keep these guys. Um, I would keep one of them, and I'm replacing one with Magic Johnson. Um, and I'm going to slide him right up there. So really, your squad's already looking better. Now, Magic is pretty, pretty expensive, and so kind of got to prioritize things here. Um, really, at the shooting guard position, I don't know if you got this card, um, but I hope you have this card. If you don't have Robert Covington at this point in the, in the year doing something wrong and you haven't watched any of my videos so plug Coven there for me and then at the center position I don't know if you're gonna have enough for cream but for the sake of the video if you sell some of the guys you had on the bench such as I know you had a Michael Red if you sell that uh, Draymond um, you're gonna be able to pick up guys sell for cream so this is the squad I would rock out if, if I was you and if I liked the Mari Stoudemire this is the squad I would go with this next squad here was sent in by Canyon on Twitter, and he said he has over a mil MT to work with. And so, there's a lot of different things that you can do with this squad, especially with Worthy supposedly being patched. I don't know. I haven't even used a Worthy since he's been patched. Um, but if you got over a mil MT, what is... I don't see the purpose of J.R. Smith uh, in this lineup. And so, the first investment I'm making... Is putting guys here with T Mac in the lineup, and that's a big investment. But I I like T Mac a lot, um, and so that's going to take up a lot of your MT. Um, and if you want to save some MT, you can go. You, I would I always suggest picking up Michael Red, but um, I like T Mac a lot. And so at the center position, I'm always going to suggest Kareem um, to go here. You guys know me well enough to know who I'm going to suggest there. So really your squad, that's going to take up the majority of your MT. I like Hidu fine enough to stay there. Um, and, and really, the, the bench is fine here, as it is. The only other suggestion I would have is taking Chris Bosh out of the lineup and putting in Lamar Odom. Um, that's just my personal preference. I know a lot of people like Chris Bosh. And even if you wanted to keep Chris Bosh, you could move him to the five. Um, and take out Eddie Curry. That's going to be up to you. But this is the squad, me personally, I would rock out with. This next squad was sent in by Tints on Twitter. And the thing I love about this squad is he has 1.3 mil to work with. And all these cards are reward cards besides the Wayne Wade. And I love this because this is going to be the ultimate squad builder. Okay. So when you look at this lineup, I see, I see four guys that can definitely stay in the lineup, possibly five with Walter Davis. Um, now, I know a lot of people you like, Lafonso Ellis, he's got to go. I'm sorry. That's my personal opinion. Um, this is going to take me a while to do because I'm going to have to think about every single thing I do. The first thing I'm going to do is put in Jeff Green right there because I think that's a great start to any squad. Jeff Green is a very, very solid option to start any sort of team. And the next position I'm just gonna go to is right here, the backup center position. You can you can get you can do a lot of things for you and your MT amount. I'm gonna plug in Eddie Curry right here, and so those two adjustments already make your squad look a ton ton better. The next position you gotta you gotta get your starting point guard position figured out, and so. You can go about this in a few ways. I'm going to give you a few options. Let you be the judge. Pink Diamond Giannis, uh, Glitch Giannis, um, Opal Magic, Opal Ben. Um, and those are the three that I would suggest. You got to have a good shoot or, or a good point guard. If you want to save some MT, you can go with like a West Unsold type. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to put in Glitch Giannis. Um, just because I think, I think he's that man with the plan. Um, and so that's why I'm plugging in there. So really, with him, you're taking up a lot of your MT, but you still got 600, 700K to work with. Um, and so that is plenty. 
uh, Dwayne Wade's okay. I'm still going to replace him. I'm going to plug in Magic Johnson. So you're getting the best of both worlds with that. Um, and so now you're down to probably 200 to 300 k okay. Um, but your squad's looking a lot better. And so these two are going to stay. And so we got two other guys to replace um, possibly here. And so I'm going to have to do some a little thinking here. And so with this guy right here, um, if you wanted to go crazy, you could put an AK. But then that's going to take up all your MT. Um, and so I'm going to go with the guy that I still love a lot. And that's Pink Diamond Kawhi. Now, if you can get AK for the same, about the same price, I would go AK. But I do think Kawhi's a little cheaper. If you want to keep Walter Davis, absolutely keep Walter Davis. Because um, for right now, for what your budget's looking like, I don't know if you're going to be able to improve a lot. Now, if you like Michael Red more than Walter Davis, you could go that option. But I think keeping Walter Davis in fight is fine. So this is your final squad that I would rock out with. The last squad for today is going to be sent in by that boy Tone. And so really with this squad, he said he has around 50k. And so I've played this guy so I know kind of what he's capable of. And he's a very, very solid guy, a solid opponent. Um, and so there's a lot of things that I like about this squad. Starting with Bonga. I played him and he was very, very good with Bonga. So I'm going to tell him to keep Bonga. Keep there's a lot of keeps in this squad but the first guy that i think needs to change is blake griffin um and that's part of my part of it's just personal i don't love blake griffin um but part of that is because i think your mt could be very better utilized in other places and one of those places is the small forward position in which i mean i know i'm saying it i know we might be getting a new Kawhi soon but this Kawhi is still overlooked to this day if you got ak um I think the next best option for that price point is probably that Kawhi. Um, if you wanted to put a Ben Wallace type player in there, you could. And then really, what I would do personally um, is put in Dino right here. Um, a lot of people don't like this Dino card, but still to this day, I absolutely love Dino. He has a butter release. Um, it does. He doesn't have range extender, but he still can shoot from that step behind the line because he has catch and shoot um, and stuff like that. And then really just work on your MT because when you can upgrade Dino... Um, your squad's gonna really start to fill out now. Once I, you would be a if you had Galaxy Opal Ben Simmons, I would fear you for my life because the way you use the tween is just ridiculous. But then you can start working on maybe upgrading your point guard positions. But I feel like with this squad right here, you with your skill set can definitely compete. If you get that Jerry, maybe that Rudy Gay, you're gonna your squad's gonna fill out um, very very well. Um, but that's what my squad would look like if I was you. I know that is gonna wrap up for the video today now I know I did miss a lot of you guys um, but I have I have so many people that send me their tweets and a lot of what I do I want to make sure my my suggestions for you are as precise as they can be because I want to I put myself in your shoes and want to give you guys the actual representation of what my suggestions would look like in your squad so I know I didn't get to everybody but that's why I want to do this on a weekly basis so hopefully eventually I can get to every single person that does reply to my tweets as always, guys, thank you guys for all the support recently. Thank you guys for replying to my Twitter so I'm able to put this uh, video out. Like I said, stay tuned on Twitter because Money in the Bank's coming probably today, maybe tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned to that. Um, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're closing in on 15K subs. So if you haven't yet, smash that subscribe button. Smash the like button. As always, I love y'all, man, and have a blessed day.